So here we are, first morning at Wimpole at War. The green with the mess tins, Bre breakfast time. On we go. All the kit and everything out. Alan Bryce made us breakfast, very kind of him. Uh, we're right next to the uh, Provost group, so we're on our best behaviour. But uh, everything's set up very nicely. Two 80 pounders, bell tents, and the officer's tent at the back. So, uh, yeah. Looking forward to getting on with the day, get some, some training and things, and we'll see more later on. So I'm just going to run through the various bits and pieces I'm wearing. We're, Miko are representing uh, British Army post Dunkirk, uh, so late 1940, September 1940 as it's currently September. Um, so I'll just run through the basic kit we've got here. I'll go from top to bottom, that's probably easiest. So we've got a Mark II steel helmet, um, no helmet, net or anything, just the bare steel helmet. Uh, I'm wearing on my shoulders here a, an anti-gas cape. Um, and it's attached with a piece of whip cord with a quick release knot here on the respirator case, which was a um, method of wearing it introduced in September of 1940. Mark 5 respirator have a sack uh, on the chest, obviously with the um, Mark 4 general service respirator inside. We've got um, on the sh shoulders here, we've got uh, anti-gas brassards, one on each arm, and they are used to detect uh, vapor, mustard gas, and change color. Um, obviously wearing battle dress surge underneath, blouse and trousers um, and obviously on my back with the webbing wires we've got the small pack there with the um, the uh, ground sheet rolled up underneath the cape so if we can just say we've got the ammunition pouches here on the belt the mark one basic pouches which obviously sit quite low on the belt uh, and on this side we've got the 1939 pattern entrenching tool 1907 pattern bayonet uh, and around this side we've got the, the water bottle the aluminium water bottle on the other hip um, so that's it. Uh, tra that's it for the webbing. Trousers are the battle dress surge trousers with the single pleat field dressing pocket, uh, ammunition boots, and early web anklets which have a brass tab on the webbing straps. And obviously the weapon is um, the uh, rifle number one, Mark III. This is a Mark III, not a Mark III star, because it does have the magazine cut off, which was. Some of them were made that way into war, so it's appropriate to have that at the start of the Second World War as well. So there we are, and that's the kit we're wearing. And uh, here we have our neighbours on the right, uh, facing us across the road, um, Poland 39, who represent the Polish army of 1939. And our neighbours to the left, uh, the 21st Army Group, Provost Living History Society, uh, betraying a corps of military police in uh, mid-1940, just post Dunkirk. So that was a brief overview of our uh, recent event at Wimpole at War, um, displaying as BEF returned from France late 1940, uh, back in training. Unfortunately I didn't get more footage of the training, I uh, managed to leave the camera uh, on in the tent with the lens cap on. Uh, it normally shuts itself off, but I'd left it recording, so I should run the battery down, so there we go. Dope. Uh, lesson learned. Need to be more careful in future. Still getting used to using it and everything. So next time, there should be a bit more footage of the event itself. Um, but there we go. Uh, I'll just run through now bits and pieces I picked up. Nothing from stalls. These are all bits from, from other members of the group and from other groups. But uh, I'll just have a quick look at the bits and pieces here. So the first thing I picked up was... Um, uh, off uh, Martin Clears, the uh, same chap I got the other one off a Belgian uh, pot, as you can see here, the, the national mark on the side here, and obviously the depression in the top, which uh, distinguishes it from British Mark II pots. Again, it's for conversion with a reproduction liner. Um, so just a cheap and cheerful helmet for uh, conversion work on. 
something I said in another video I was after uh, on prior a couple of pounds a uh, fiber button stick which I've been after not for using obviously for going the collection alongside the steel and the uh, the brass ones I've got now so there we go another thing from uh, Mr. Pryor um, a, uh, an RAF 1941 dated I don't know if you'll be able to uh, the markings not particularly I don't know if you'll be able to see there 1941 dated uh, bayonet frog to go with the RAF webbing I'm uh, going to be putting together I uh, have the uh, post-war uh, braces I want to get a set of pouches and, and this and that will make a skeleton uh, so a musketry order set up um, but uh, try and find some wartime dated uh, braces as well to go with it's a nice little pick up that and finally perhaps the most exciting uh, pick up of the weekend or certainly the most the most expensive um, is a reproduction uh, Steve Kittle P Pegasus Militaria um, 1942 pattern, uh, airborne helmet and these are very very good acknowledged as very good reproductions it's uh, so yeah, an R um, RAC uh, Royal Armoured Corps or Dispatch Riders uh, pot with a reproduction uh, liner in so you've been drilled for the, uh, the two point attachment at the back and then the it's a four point uh, harness as you can see here with the rubber rim uh, and uh, really really good uh, that's off um, Pete Cosgrove uh, it was £110 which is I think £40 less than they are new and this has been worn a bit but it's in very good condition so it's a nice pickup for the airborne kit and it's not an ori obviously originals are much more expensive it's a nice representation to have in the uh, collection as well as a using item so there we go so there we are. Uh, Wimpole was a really good event. Really enjoyed it, I have to say. Uh, the display went very well. The war walks through the woods, uh, I think, our display. We did a section attack, which unfortunately I did not get on film because of the issues with the camera. Very embarrassing. Um, uh, it went very well. It was well received. Uh, the other groups there were good. The two chaps, we, the two groups we were next to, certainly, we got on very well with. So um, overall, a very good event, and I think. Everyone involved, certainly from our group, enjoyed it. So until next time, bye for now.